How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 8. Now, the heroes are in destitute to stop Shigaraki from causing further destructions. And be that as it may, as it stands, I believe that Midoriya can be the one that will stop him. But can Midoriya be able to summon enough quirk that will not only negate Tomura's quirk, but at the same time subdue it? That question, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen next. So without further ado, let's check out the next episode on My Hero Academia and see what took place. we go with another episode yeah towards the ending of the previous episode they were about to make a stand about uh they were about to make a stand against Machia. That brute will run through anything that steps in its path. <laughs> Look at him, he's so excited to go meet Shiganaki. Hmm. I wonder if their, their combination of strength will be able to stop him. And the other hero is hanging on him too, trying to stop him, but he's not slowing down in, in any way, shape, or form. In any way, shape, or form. Now, like I said, on my opening, I just wonder what kind of quirk or how Midoriya is going to ever stop this man because Midoriya's quirk is not, um, let, let's just say that if Shiganaki grabs Midoriya, he will disintegrate him, he will decay him, literally, ain't no question about that. But, wherever there is desire of survival, wherever there is hope to survival, knowing the fact that um, one for all, continues to speak to him, he could hear one for all's voice in his head, calling out for justice, 
informing him, informing him that he must stop Tomorash Garaki at all cost. Something is gonna happen. I believe something has to give because as Midoriya, like as the way Midoriya is right now, as he is at this current point, he doesn't have the power yet. His power cannot um, subdue or negate Tomura when he gets his hand on him. I mean, and if Makia is able to meet Tomura Shiganaki, if he's if he's able to rendezvous with him, uh, it's going to be difficult to stop Shiganaki from there on out because those four those other four villains are on his back. On you know he's taking them to Shiganaki to support Shiganaki. It is those that has been deluded. So they're gonna, she's gonna try to put him to sleep. They better have a strong needle that can be able to penetrate through his body because his body is, is a tough one. He has all these armor spikes sticking out of it. <laughs> this brute <laughs> oh they better they better bring out everything in their ass now to make sure that they stop his next movement because if he is able to go if he goes through them here that's it and doesn't doesn't he look like all for one like because doesn't he have his um uh, you know, face design and everything. Hmm. You better be ready. You better be ready. Okay, here we go. Sweet! They brought him down. Now, the injection or whatever. League of Villain versus UA students. Hmm. Whatever they're gonna do, they better do it quick. Do it quick and fast. Before he tries to get up. Because he's gonna try to get up. Yep. Ooh! Their rope broke. And again, he has these villains on it. Oh, okay. This is good because if they allow those villains to stay there, I do. They're going to break those ropes and want to help him move. Oh, he's gonna, Kenner is gonna send his electricity through that. Oh, yeah. Ouch. I guess he didn't see that coming. Oh, they're not gonna inject it inside him. They're gonna throw it, in, chunk all these uh, diluted formula inside his mouth. Oh, he blew it away with his breath. 
Wow. Oh, and here you go. Dabi helps him accelerate the power even further by throwing his blue fire into it. And as if he knew what they were going to do. And you guys know that those villains on his back are more dangerous up there than down with the heroes. Because up there they can continuously throw attacks on them. He's, uh, he, he's about to free himself. You guys better... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness if this man runs through you guys again it's it's gonna be a bad news barrier to stop him whatever they get to do they're better they're better huddle up right now and do it And again, the good thing as well is those villains on his back, them being there is also a good thing because it keeps them all in one place. So that the heroes don't have to worry about fighting them one by one because they are literally in one position. Yeah, exactly. They know exactly where the villains are. They can go on Makia's back and fight him. Oh, she's back. Ooh. Oh, she's going to try and open his mouth, huh? Now, come on, let's go. Throw some of that medicine or those inside his mouth. Now is your chance. I'm not sure if you guys feel the desperation, man. I'm not sure if y'all feel the destitute. The destitute right now is is very intense. It's like it's all for nothing now. It's like it's it's all or nothing. I mean. Mm. She's using, she covered herself with her own quark to negate the fire that is around so that she can, yep, get close enough to throw that then. Ooh, she's close. She's very close. Don't let him, don't let him, don't let him. Wasting my time on incense is so worst. <laughs> oh, he's about, he's about to act again. I will stop them from regrouping. I must do this for master. Come on, throw that in already. Oh, they have run into each other before. They have run into each other in the past. Don't tell me you're going to get a cold feet. Oh. Are you serious? She froze. Hmm. Sh 
she froze in the air, in the middle of the air and couldn't deliver. Let me just hope that Krishna didn't took the full force of that, because if he did, it's gonna... Hopefully, hopefully. Don't tell me that he took the full force of that. Mm. He's not done yet. <laughs> this is what I'm about Krishna. Oh, um, I remember his fight on season four, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, oh, he has another one. Wow, he even cut the one the other girl couldn't deliver with. Oh, it went in his mouth. <laughs> it went in. At least it went in. That that one went in. It broke on his teeth, but the um, liquid went inside his mouth. And I believe all they need is one. They can try to get in another one if they can, but will one be enough to, to put him to sleep? The incense just keep coming. <laughs> Uh, he's about to, he's about to act. I knew one will not be enough. What is he about to do now? He's pissed. Meanwhile, in Jakku City. The fight here still continues and it is as the heroes are pouring water on a rock because this man is not down yet. Mm, you guys better attack him now. You guys better go after him. He's regrouping himself, huh? Now, this is a man that grew up a little different. But to be honest, each and every hero has their own, uh, you know, upbringing. They didn't get uh, the best upbringing or the best family that they grew up in. But Shigaraki's case was just in it. Ooh! Thanks for the halftime break. That's what they should have done all these time. Ooh, he comes again. 
He can still move. Wahoo! His fighting while exceeding his own limits. They better hmm. Don't let him. He grabbed him. Look at the look on his face, man. He is so excited. He is he is now in in a bizarre or bizarre situation now, a bizarre state. Bloodlust. I mean bloodthirst situation. Oh. Now this is a person he has always wanted to face. You see how fast he moves? He dashed through Midoriya. Who is he going after now? Oh, he's going after Azarawa. Oui. Oui. Hmm. It looks like Ishigaraki's resolve is, is stronger than Midoriya right now. You hear what Midoriya said and he, you hear what he said. What is Midoriya trying to do to him? Where did he hit him? Hit him in hit him in the head. Did he elbow did he did Midoriya just elbow him in the head? I mean on the head. And then he continues to hear the voice of all for one. Oh, Midoriya put his arm between his jaws so that he doesn't use his quirk. He fired it anyway. Ooh, he's going after Azarawa. Oh, wow. What a cliffhanger they put us in. What a cliffhanger this is. This episode is such an entertaining episode. I'm not going to lie. I mean, from the beginning till the end, the desperation on both sides, you can see that it is as clear as anything. It is crystal clear that both sides wants to win. One, both sides wants to get their resolved into... Uh, to make it come to fruition and uh, this is pretty much the struggle between good and evil um, 
Shigana Kitomura targeting Azarawa because he knows how powerful Azarawa is. Having him on standby, watching his every move is a threat to him. So he goes up. He's been wanting to catch him, catch it, or been wanting to take out Aizarawa for a while now. And you can see how much desperation he has or how much desperate he is to take out Aizarawa. Um, with that being said, Midoriya is on him and trying to prevent him but in the end he managed to fire that bullet and that bullet i believe once he hits azarawa with it it will stop him from using his quirk indefinitely it will stop him from using his quirk indefinitely grand torino oh wow they were defeated so he's gonna stop azarawa from using his quirk and we see endeavor has burned out all his energy and it looks like those other villains will be okay next episode it's going to be Midoriya Kenchen or Bakugo and Shoot I think I saw Shoot as well Shoot is finally going to arrive and we see that Endeavor has burnt out all his energy. He's tired now. He's been fighting for a while. He can't continue anymore. And we see Midoriya say that Mr. Azarawa and Grand Torino has been defeated. Now, these two characters are very key players or key fighters in this battle, on this battlefield. And to have them gone or to have them defeated um it's going to make this fight more it's going to tip things on shiganaki's favor right now and due to the fact that endeavor himself has burnt out his energy he can't fight anymore we see his son i believe using his eyes to protect his father uh this is going to be a bad news barrett because we can also see those uh villains the four villains that has been trying to get to Tomura Shiganaki uh, so that they can join him on the battlefield. They will arrive as well. So things are going to be <laughs> very, very difficult for our heroes. But on that note, uh, here you have it. Episode 8 of Season 6. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>